All right, you guys, we got Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Core 2, Episode 3. Last we left off, Rudius and the rest of the gang had a little get together. And now I don't really know. Uh, I, I mean, they got married. They're chilling. I'm not too sure where the adventure goes from here. So let's just check it out and see what happens. The mailman? Oh, God, it's UPS. Oh, is this Paul's letter? I'm assuming it's Paul, right? Because he sent a letter to Paul about the wedding. Yeah! I love it when I guess things right. Can we get an update about his mom? Oh, huge. Someone you know. Oh, season one, um, green-haired man, yeah. Gotta be. Green-haired man that shaved his head, sorry, it's been a while. It's It's been a hot minute, apologies. Too many anime. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a whole side story spinoff just based on Paul. I wonder who's the one he mentioned here. Come on, who else would it be, Rudius? Let's be real for a minute. He hasn't exactly met a lot of characters throughout the series. He's kind of stayed in his own bubble, you know what I mean? Like, he maybe has, you know, you narrow it down to guys, and then, you know, guys that really know Rudius. I think, really, only, like, five people really line up. My sisters and a surprise guest will be here soon. Actually, that works really well. The house is really big, right? They talked about it earlier, about how they don't know what to do with half these rooms. Yeah, look, it's a mansion, man. Yeah, that's that's great. Honestly, you could, you could fit everybody he knows in this house and it would still be somewhat empty. I guess that makes sense, right? Yeah. When you use mana, you just turn things into... You turn things from mana into the thing you're trying to create. Yeah, I mean... I guess it's one of those things you don't really think about, but it just makes sense. The hell was that? Huh? She okay? <laughs> Instantly depressed. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. It's probably special paper. It probably took a while to do that. Damn. She was so happy a second ago. I mean... It's hard to comment on because we don't know, like, the grand scope of, like, what she put into that. Yeah, that was, like, all of her research, but... Like, I mean, did it take a long time to cook that up? Can she just have another one? Can she just try again? Or was that like her last straw? Okay, she does not take losing well. Gotcha. Well, I guess that's like her biggest L though, right? That's the whole reason why she's here. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, despair. Welcome. 
I guess we don't know what her life is like. Like, maybe this world is hell for her. Maybe she has a lot of things in her past life that she just wants to go back to. She's in trouble. Please take care of her, huh? What, what can they do? Throw her a party? Damn, so many people were just gawking at her. Jeez. It's dangerous to leave her alone. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's mainly rough because we're, we're going through the story from Rudius' perspective where he likes this world. Everything is more or less going right for him. And then there's Nanahoshi who wants to get the hell out of here, you know? And plus, we've just seen a lot of good things from Rudius POV too. But I guess for Nanahoshi, she's been through a lot. But even then, I mean, she can't give up though, right? She's got to keep trying. Or just live with this, you know? Live with the outcome. Casted healing magic just in case. Dang, she was going to end it all. Is Miss Silent doing okay? What a good nickname. Mmm, I see. Yeah, he can relate a little bit. Hmm, how do we get her out of this slump? I don't think you really can. It's just like time, really. Dude, she really took that hard. I was not expecting that. Oh. Oh, that's sweet of Rudius. Taking over her research. Okay. Oh, is the doll the key? 
Yeah, research the doll, learn more about the magic circles. Okay. Did it always look like that? No, they, they like modified it, right? It kind of looks like a hat stand. A coat rack. A lamp fixture. There's magic circles just to control the elbows. That's kind of crazy. That, like, it sounds like overkill. Oh? That's looking pretty solid. Nanahoshi, you there? It might work. Dude, if this doesn't work, though... <sighs> Yo, if this doesn't work, she's gone, man. <laughs> like... Oh, no. I, I probably would have tried this out myself before I showed it to her. Oh, oh. Is she doing it? Is she learning all about companionship now? About friends? Alright, let's see it. God, I hope this works. Wow, it's really the first time you see the whole group hang out with her. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's working. The paper didn't crack. Oh, oh it's a water bottle! What is that thing? Yeah, what is this? Yeah, that's plastic, my friend. Try not to eat it. <laughs> You'll get cancer. The microplastics will get you. Dude, I bet there's some, like, poor man out there who's like, dude, I just lost my water bottle. Dang, it's an empty water bottle, too. I'm just imagining some poor man's, like, holding a bottle right here, about to take a piss in it. Hey, I had nothing else to go, and he's on the road. And then his bottle disappears, and then he pisses in his hand. That would suck. Yeah, that would really suck. I feel like the more she gets ingrained with the group here, the less she's going to want to go back to her world. And we don't know how time works either, bro. Like, what if she goes back? And it's not what she thought of at all. Everybody she knew in her old life are dead. I don't know. It's, it's too many what ifs. It's way too many what ifs. But we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I mean, decent episode overall. You know, we got some more of Nanahoshi, which is something we never really got before. Man, before this episode, she was kind of just a loser in a cave, really. I mean, you know, researching, not really talking too much, you know, just kind of lost in the study. And that's fair, you know, she wants to keep her cards close to her chest. She wants to do her own thing. She wants to get the heck out of here. Can't blame her. But I'm glad we finally got more of her, you know. Uh, but hey, with that being said, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this episode with me. Let me know what you thought about this episode down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. All right, so I'm actually hopping back in here because it turns out that I missed the ending scene. Normally, there isn't one, so I wasn't expecting it. And look at this. Look at this. What is this? In the last 10 seconds? Okay, come on. Come on. How am I supposed to catch this? How am I supposed to catch this? Uh, but yeah, I hopped on Twitter. I saw people were talking about it, and I was like, okay, I need to see this. I, I need to see with my own eyes. Oh, wow. They're already here? Wait, what? Okay, so this is... Honestly, a little bit surprising. I wasn't expecting them to be here this quickly. They were mentioned in one episode, and here they are. 
And yep, so that is Rougier. I, I remembered his name afterwards. Yep, there we go. Yeah, boom, there we go. I, I came back for the last 10 seconds of the episode. I can't believe it, but hey, it was worth it though. You know, we saw Rougier, we saw his sisters, and... Now I wonder what's going to happen. Are we just going to continue the family life here? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but hey, thank you again, guys, for showing up. And I'll catch you later.